Specifically, we actually have five different divisions here at the Solar Car Challenge. And these five divisions help allow racers to choose what they want to do, choose where they want to race, and what kind of car they want to build. Going down the line, we start off with our classic cars. Classic cars are kind of our entry-level vehicles. They're great for first-level teams. Uh, they have certain specifications they can follow, and it's a great way to get started with the Solar Car Challenge. Now, if you've been around for a little bit, but you still want to ride in the Classic Division, you can be in the Advanced Classic Division. The Advanced Classic Division has all the same rules as the Classic Division, but it's for teams that have been around for a couple more years. Next, we have the Advanced Division. The Advanced Division takes a bit of a step up in some of the technology. They're not as limited as the Classic cars are in terms of what types of tech they can use. So, things like hub motor, better battery, better solar efficiency. They are a little bit more expensive, but they also tend to be potentially a little faster or more efficient. We have the Electric Solar Division, uh, which is pretty unique as there's actually no solar panels on the car itself. This is actually also a two-seater car, so you'll probably be able to tell which ones these are pretty quickly. These cars are designed to be a lot like real electric vehicles, where instead of actually having solar panels on them, they have a separate charging station with a battery pack that they can plug in, charge, and then swap so they can race and do a battery-style pit swap with their charger. Last but not least, we do have the cruiser cars. These are quite fun in one of our more recent additions to the Solar Car Challenge. These vehicles can seat up to four people. <laughs> so each of these cars, you'll see four seats, and the team can decide actually how many driver-passenger combinations they want to try out. If they complete one lap with just the driver, they get one lap. But if they have all four people in the car, they get four points for every one lap. So you actually get to multiply the number of people in the car by how many laps you complete. It's definitely a choice and strategy because you're exchanging weight, but it's all up to the teams to see what they decide. So keep an eye out for all these different cars, uh, what they look like, how they are unique, and join us as we cheer them on for this year's race here at the Solar Car Challenge and Texas Motor Speedway. See you later.